Hey, 12th grade, uh, this is Mr. Irma here. What's the most awkward thing that happens to you on a regular basis? Our agenda for the day is as follows. We have uh, our daily journal. Go ahead, take that for t uh, attendance. Today, September 21st, Monday, 2020. Our ACT daily tip will go over some common comma usage rules. Uh, vocabulary for the day. Uh, don't forget, we've got about 10 words now, so expect a quiz next Monday coming up. We'll probably pra do a little practice activity with our study set in Quizlet this week. Uh, today, I've got a quick Schoology assignment that just asks you to identify your top five issues. Uh, go in to the Schoology quiz. I think it simply says top five issues. And then write down in order your top five issues. Uh, I'm just making sure and double checking we're all on the right track with what issues uh, would be easier for us to sift through, making sure you don't uh, and aren't getting stuck with larger umbrella issues, making sure they're specific enough to find data and research on. So the purpose of this is just to give me an idea that you're not only using umbrella ideas like human rights or uh, mental health. Those are very large umbrella uh, issues. You're going to find uh, identifying more specific issues such as mental health in the education system will be easier uh, for you to research and actually give you jumping off points for finding action items that can help you uh, kind of give direction on why these issues are important to you. So go ahead and take that quiz in Schoology, top five issues. Other than that, today I'm giving you a jumping off assignment. We're not going over the rubric yet for our summative research assignment, but instead we have a, a one pager that's going to help you focus your, your energy, uh, kind of help you scaffolding uh, what you need to do to begin your research on the issues you've selected. And I'll show you what that assignment looks like in a second. And then heads up. We have only four weeks uh, remaining in the trimester. I sent out some emails to students that haven't done any work. I'm gonna send out a follow-up email to all students in my classes, just kind of reminding them of the structure and the expectations for um, how we have content every single day. Virtual Learning Academy students need to be online with me on Friday. And, uh, just want to make sure your families are supporting you. It's a tough year, but uh, hopefully they can be there for you and I'll be here for you too to structure your success. Surreptitious, acting in secret, sly manner. Uh, the surreptitious cat uh, stalked the mouse late at night. Or you could use it as an adverb, surreptitiously stalked the cat, modifying the verb stalked. All right, going to Schoology. And this is just a simple short, uh, short answer response quiz. Just list one, two, three, four, five. What are the top issues that you're researching? The top five, be specific. Remember, I'm just making sure you, you're not getting stuck on umbrella issues. How do you research uh, mental health? There are so many different subcategories for how we can support people with mental health issues. Um, so make sure you're being specific with your issues. Um, you could break down uh, umbrella issues into uh, more detailed topics to help you better support the people in your community. Uh, go into Schoology and write those down. Other than that, uh, I have a one page assignment in personal, uh, it's called personal platform assignment research. Uh, the purpose of this is just, just to give you some more structure in your research. Follow the directions to today's one pager. It will help focus your research energy and begin to structure your note taking requirements. So again, open the assignment. I'm not gonna read it to you. Um, it, Looks like this, group. It looks like this. Download it, open it up, and here it is. Read the directions. I'm not going to do that for you. I will point out that you need to download your sources into Notability. It should be open to Notability and marked. It tells you what for. Uh, circle unknown words, circle key terms, highlight anything that relates to the reading purpose. So what are you trying to do with this uh, issue? Why are you trying to bring the attention of this issue to your community? That's your purpose. So why is it important to research this issue? How are we gonna support the, the 
the stakeholders involved in this, sh this issue and highlight anything related to that. We'll go over some top dates tomorrow when I give you the rubric for the detail uh, for the uh, for the uh, summative. Other than that, I'm going to point out one resource you can use. So a database uh, that you can use that will help you uh, kind of hone your research, making sure you use reliable uh, resources. Go to our Park uh, High School website, go to students, go to Media Center, click on research. And then you're gonna get a bunch of different options here. This Gale in Context, it says Gale in Context High School is a great resource. Once it opens up, click Advanced Search. Then you're gonna get different ways of querying or searching for issues that you might be interested in. Uh, mental health, and the, so let's say you have the umbrella topic of mental health, type that in. It's going to pop up with a whole bunch of different issues uh, surrounding mental health. Um, let's see. Here's primary sources. Let's see what comes up in primary sources. Trauma-related substance abuse persist after mental health symptoms abate. So here you have more detailed topics that you could come up. Drug abuse. So if you're looking at how drug abuse treatment in adolescents should address co-occurring mental health problems. So there's a very specific issue in the community uh, that's relevant to people that are are here around Park High School. It's looking specifically at adolescents. Report calls for sweeping changes in healthcare. Now we're looking at how healthcare and mental and substance abuse problems um, uh, and how the healthcare system should be uh, supporting those individuals. Uh, so here, this is a resource again, Gale in Context, go to Media Center, go to Research, go to Gale in Context, Advanced Search, and that's gonna help you find more specific issues. And uh, primary sources is a great way, again, looking at, um, let's look at what it looks like. And I'll point out again, how this is an awesome resource for you. You can download this into Notability for one, and you need to do that to mark up your text. And then beyond that, it gives you the, the works cited uh, so you can copy and paste that into your works cited page, which will be a requirement for this assignment. More to come on that in tomorrow's rubric uh, discussion. Make sure you do today's uh, one pager. It gives you directions on how to download or telling you to download uh, your notes into Notability, how to mark up your text, um, and then catch up. A bunch of us are falling behind. I've emailed out several students uh, about that, students that have turned in zero completion. I'm going to be sending out an email to uh, all families here, just uh, reintroducing myself, Mr. Ermer, my expectations. We only have four weeks, really less than four weeks of the trimester. So here's our first summative. Give yourself some time to catch up on all of your work. Go through Gradebook, see what you're missing. You do have grades posted for this class. I'm going to be posting your silhouette projects. I did not get to that over the weekend because I had a lot of paper copies here. Uh, but again, 12th grade, be awesome. See you soon.